It's now the first of Advent, it's the first of four Sundays before Christmas and it's really early in the morning, I think it's not even six o'clock yet, but I can't sleep. So I'm going to go and just lie in the kitchen, I'm going to prepare the kitchen, make it look a little nicer and uh, then make a nice breakfast for you at home. In Sweden, we celebrate Advent, the four Sundays before Christmas. We light one new candle each Advent, and it brings some brightness and light into the darkest month of the year. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Another celebration of light is Lucia, which is celebrated on December 13th. And this year, Lucia and Advent the Third happened to be on the same day. This year I couldn't attend any Lucia festivities and I wouldn't even be able to if I was in Sweden. So I decided I wanted to at least make a proper fika for both Lucia and all the Advents. Fika is a Swedish word for a resting time where you sit down and drink and eat, usually twice a day. And um, it can be, you know, eating a sandwich or a bun or cake or biscuit and you can drink coffee or tea or hot chocolate or just whatever you want. But the fikas for Advent and Lucia are all about saffron. Today I'm making a Lucia buns, Swedish sweet saffron buns, Lysikeppe, I love Lysifulla. And uh, it's a traditional Swedish bun for Lucia which is December 13th. But most people, like I now, do it a little earlier because they're so tasty. And well, they are tasty, especially if you succeed in making them. But before I get into that, I want to talk about something else. After having Samson, my first child, I began making Christmas cards and sending Christmas cards. I did that as a child, but then I guess in my teens and early 20s, I didn't really do it. But now I just love dressing him up or, you know, setting up a little Christmas scene and just, you know, making him smile and choosing the cutest picture to send to friends and family. And I think a lot of you probably love it too. Not just taking pictures of your fur and human babies, but just the Christmas card making and sending in general. And once again, Skillshare is sponsoring my video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in anything creative, like videography, photography, illustrations, fine arts, calligraphy, watercolor, just a perfect place if you want to explore some new skills or hobbies. For example, if you're new to photography, there is a great beginner's photography course called Fundamentals of DSLR Photography by Photo Essentials and Justin Bridges. And that course already has over 82,000 students. But they also have all kinds of photography classes for whatever level you're at. While browsing around, I also found a course called Calligraphy Essentials from First Script to Final Flourish by Seb Lester. And I think that would be an amazing course to explore if you like handmade Christmas cards or if you just want to learn how to write beautifully anyways. The classes on Skillshare are usually under an hour and Skillshare is less than $10 a month if you take the annual subscription. And if you want to try it out for yourself, you can click on my link below and the first thousand people who do that get a free trial of their premium membership. But again, saffron buns. <laughs> And so we began our Lucifer baking, and no matter how cute my little helper was, we failed.
So a very frustrating thing is that every time I make bread or anything Mama. with a dough, it just doesn't rise. And this has also my rest in this dough. So I made bread yesterday and it also didn't rise the first time, then the second time around it did rise. So I'm gonna make our lusicato from this dough anyways and hope that it's fine. <laughs> But it wasn't fine, they didn't rise. To me, I'll go. It's very, very delicious. Good delicious. No. No. You didn't know good delicious. Very, very delicious. And they were definitely not very delicious. I promise. But luckily, I have you, my viewers. And I wrote about this failure on my community tab. And I got so much response and good advice. And I got my hopes up immediately and decided I wanted to try again. I now have new hope that I can succeed to make my dough rice. So that's what we're gonna try today. First, we're gonna go and wash our hands though. The recipe I'll be using comes from Underbar Clara, which is a Swedish blogger and I guess you could call her a Christmas guru as well. So that's what I'm going to be using. That's what I used last time too, but I'm not going to put egg in it because someone said that can affect how the dough rises and I'm just too scared. <laughs> So we have no electricity and uh, we are waiting for the dough to rise and decided to go for a little walk and hopefully it will be twice as big when we get back. It's a success. Now I'm going to do Lucy Cat. Now I'm going to do Lucy Cat. I'm going to do Lucy Cat. 
Los Kat? Die Jesse, du schon Lüsse ma. Du ma du. Ma du. Wo die du jo kon ja, das ho jo ike. Du du du. Du ja ma jo kon si. Oh. Du ja je jo. Du ma jo kon si. Oh. Jo. 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 Das Christmas time, I light up a fire, gather friends and family, have a bite to eat and some Christmas sweets, chilling out and watch TV, wrapping up the gifts with my fingertips, making up some fancy rhymes, oh, so fancy. just got something fun for my special one, but my love don't cost a dime, waiting for Santa to come, he'll be knocking on We're making them with a twist. We're putting goji berries to make it a little bit more Qinghai. In Qinghai, they grow a lot of goji berries. When the Christmas spirit's all over town I'm not one of them, the three wisest men But I got an open heart If you feel alone, just stop by my home I don't care about who you are if you make the trip, have a little sip Talking about the good old times How they did it then, back in Bethlehem oh, yeah, yeah. Legend came to life I'm waiting for Santa to come He'll be knocking on my door Treat the old and the young I hear sleigh bells in the snow Holding on to a bunch of rings The difference from last time is huge. Like, if you open them, they're actually all fluffy and nice inside. So a huge thank you to everyone who gave me advice on how to make. I added more yeast and I put it in hot, hot water, uh, wet sugar before I added it, added the flour, and it worked. Thank you so much.